Hi guys. Thanks for coming to Teen Craft. It's running a little behind. I'm sorry about that. I had some technical snafus. But we usually get started about 3.20 anyway, really, so it all works out. How are you guys doing? I hope you had a good week. I hope you had a good week. Welcome to Teen Craft in my hallway once again. Today, we are making soup can flower pots, but I use it instead of as a flower pot. I use it as a pencil holder. It's easier to show you here. See? Soup can pencil holder. Now, you guys are a whole lot more talented than I am artistically. So, you can use anything that you want, really. These are colored pencils. You could do watercolors. You could do a scene. You could do really just about anything. There are magic markers. You could use anything. So, here we go. This is how we do it. I moved everything a little closer this time because people had a hard time hearing me. So I'm just going to hold everything up. Okay. I had another tin can. I did, but I don't know where it has walked away to in my house. So I can show you the wonderful way you can redo the same can when you get tired of it. Okay. You have the label from the soup or from whatever your tin can used to be. And the best way to do it is to get a piece of paper, glue the label to the paper, and then you're gonna cut it out around that label so you'll have exactly the right size. Just remember the edges tear, so I do it a little further down than where it actually ends now. Okay, so we'll glue it. So you'll need glue sticks. Okay, glue sticks. Glue, glue, glue. it to your paper. Voila! Attach it to the paper. Then we cut it out. So smooth. Over here. have a piece of paper, perfect size, fingers crossed, yes, to wrap completely around your soup can, just like that, okay, so we will decorate this however you want to decorate it, I'm going to do hearts right now, <laughs> Jim says all, because I already did the stripy one, so this time I will do hearts with sparkly crayons, There's a cat that you can't see up there, that's good. Okay. I'm gonna do two big hearts. What you get to see that little color at first. There we go. You could do geometric designs. There were a lot of those in the pictures that I looked at. You could do flowers. You could do ivy or a lattice work kind of thing. You could do bingham checks. That would be cute. And like I said, you can use any kind of art supply or medium that you would want to. Glitter is always a solid choice. Glitter is always a solid choice. But not in my living room. So I'm not doing glitter. <laughs> it's actually my hallway, but I promise it would end up in my living room if I did glitter. So no glitter. No glitter. There we go. Okay. 
Now you can see it carts. It carts. All right, now we put more glue stick on the back where your label is, not where your beautiful artwork is. And put as much on as you can. I'm a big fan of extra, extra glue stick. Go. Now we attach it to our can and smooth it out as much as possible. Ta -da. And you have a soup can, flower pot, or Pencil holder. Since we're all working from school and home, you can use this with stuff that you probably have laying around your house to make something pretty and fun. And that is the name of the game in teen craft. Easy and fun. So here are my beautiful hearts. <laughs> and my masterpiece soup can, flower pot, pencil holder. I hope you guys like it. I hope you had a really good week. If you have any questions, all the directions are already online that explain it probably way better than I do. And it's a fairly simple one, so I think you can figure it out. I do urge you to be careful because the inside of the can is sharp, so this is a craft for older kids or parents with a smaller kid to make sure that they're real careful about that edge, okay? So be very careful. I hope you enjoy craft, and I will talk to you guys next week. Have a great day.